Some beach somewhere was some close. The uh, three-year-old harness racing colt out of Truro lost a million dollar race in a photo finish out there in New Jersey over the weekend. It marks the end of an incredible 10 race winning streak, but those in the maritime harness scene say the Colts future will remain in the winner's circle for years to come. Mm, CTV's Dan McIntosh has more. It's training day here at the Truro Raceway. Ever, history, ever in the history, history of sport like But off the track, everyone's talking about hometown favorite Some Beach Somewhere and his million dollar race in the Meadowlands Saturday night. The three year old Colt was trying to add to his undefeated record of 10 straight victories. It wasn't meant to be. Veteran horsemen say because of the way the other horses crowded him, Some Beach was forced to run a better race than the eventual winner. It took a new world record to beat him, and just by a nose. And to uh, be there at the wire after doing that, it was, it was unreal, really. It's hard to believe there was another horse there with him, really. He's just a super athlete, like, you know, he's just a big, strong, well-made horse. Confirmation is pretty near perfect, like, you know, and uh, he's so powerful, like, you know, and he has a tremendous gait and, and, and the speed, and he has a, and he's a, has a tremendous attitude. They know a lot about horsepower at this Truro car dealership. Gary Pye is one of six owners of some beach somewhere. He's disappointed with the loss, but far from being upset. I think the comparison is Tiger Woods doesn't win every tournament. The horse has won every race except for this race, and he didn't lose the race uh, in any sort of manner to be ashamed of. It was a world record for three-year-olds. Losing the race is not expected to damage some beach's reputation. A pair of his old shoes recently sold on eBay for more than $600. Darren Crow has worked on beach and kept a pair for a souvenir. I did, actually. Yeah, I thought he was going to make a pretty nice horse, and... Brent was telling me how great he was, and he turned out to be a great horse. He's like, he's an unbelievable animal. They're still cleaning up from the weekend beach party here at the raceway. Officials say Beach may have tasted defeat, but he's still the best. Well, he's not perfect anymore, but I think it's actually going to generate a little bit more, because for myself, I just can't wait to see if he's going to come back and win the next one. Race fans wanting to see how some Beach responds to this first and only loss will not have to wait too long. His next race is scheduled for two weeks' time in Toronto. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Bible Hill, Nova Scotia.